Hi, this is Alex Koloskov, your 40G instructor, and uh, this is our next assignment for ProCorner. ProCorner is where we do our project-based interactive uh, education, photography education, learning, uh, studio product photography, and uh, the assignment will be the fire. We're going to use fire in product photography. We're going to use. Uh, we're going to learn how to use fire in uh, studio product photography. As usual, the uh, full tutorial will be followed uh, in a couple days. Well, maybe like three, four days from uh, this announcement. But I want to give you the assignment, and I'll, I want to show you uh, the basics of uh, the techniques we're going to use. So you can start working. As usually, we have two weeks uh, to complete the assignment. It's quite interesting, and I hope to uh, well to see your work. So, uh, fire. We're going to use fire as a background or as a prop, if you want, uh, for our product shot. And uh, the product it can be anything. Uh, it's up to you. But I suggest you to use something uh, clear, like a clear glass, some liquor, uh, some bottles, uh, something which will be translucent enough, transparent enough to show the fire behind it. And uh, let me show you my lighting setup. Uh, like, this is really quick. We have something quite transparent, right? It's a glass with water. I have placed it here on a glossy black plastic. And I have this little cuvette, buvette, whatever you call it, uh, filled with alcohol. Okay, it's rubbing alcohol, 99% uh, whatever uh, I was using it for cleaning some electronics. Uh, it fires, I mean, it, <laughs> it burns really well, so uh, always be careful. And uh, I'm going to use this, uh, well, maybe not exactly this, uh, something to cover when I'm done. I, I'm going to cover uh, that that and uh, it will seize the fire okay so one light again how are we going to use light we're going to use strobe or your continuous light make sure that uh, you can turn off uh, all the lights in studio it will be completely darkness including no modeling light uh, for your strobe and then uh, we shoot on long exposure, long enough to catch the fire. You need to figure out, it uh, depends on your uh, ISO settings, uh, lens, and brightness of your fire, how much uh, shutter speed you need to set. But basically, it will be complete darkness in studio. Uh, we fire our strobes uh, without modeling light to create some, something nice on the subject, and then it will be fire behind it. Okay? Uh, so, let me turn on modeling light so you will see what I have here. I have a little uh, strip box behind this diffuser just to create some nice reflection. And uh, if I'm going to uh, shoot it with a normal shutter speed, let's say 200th of a second, uh, we'll be getting this shot. Okay, so we see some reflection on a glass, kind of Nothing special, right? Uh, just nice uh, little gradient uh, which highlight the glass. Now I'm going to turn off uh, all the lights in studio and uh, fire the alcohol. Okay? Okay, so we have some fire, right? Uh, I'm sure you don't see them because uh, we can't really set the focus, but I'm here, I'm still alive, and uh, I do a shot. No modeling light. Nothing, right? And uh, the result is this. Okay, so you see how cool uh, it may look like when uh, the fire is behind the subject. It's a little bit out of focus. I set uh, aperture f7, so we got nice subject, but uh, quite blurry uh, fire. Okay, so this is it. I'm going to cover it and uh, <laughs> almost. So, this is it. I uh, hope you got the idea. Uh, again, the full tutorial will be posted in uh, several days. Uh, it will be a quite interesting shot and it will be actually a surprise for you. And, uh, well, you, you're going to use it uh, in, in your assignment as well. Uh, if you're not in ProCorner, 
I invite you to join us. Uh, it's, it's really cool. It's uh, the most effective uh, type of uh, learning because we do projects and we learn and uh, I do a critic and review for each uh, submission. So if you want to participate, you'll get my personal attention to your shot. And uh, for each shot, I provide all my uh, feedback uh, on the critic and review session. Okay? So uh, in two weeks, uh, I'll meet you guys online talking about your shots. This was Alex Koloskov from 40G.com. Bye.